Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. That girl looks very attractive, doesn't she? Do you think so? I don't like girls who look like that. I like girls who are not too slim. If you like her, go and talk to her. I'd like to, but there's her boyfriend. He's very broad-shouldered. He's huge. He must go to the gym to have a well-built body like that. Do you prefer tall girls or short ones? I don't mind, but I like girls with long hair. We have different tastes. I like girls with short hair. I like tall girls probably because I'm so tall myself. Have you ever dated a girl taller than you? No, never. I don't think I've ever met a girl taller than me. Have you gained weight recently? Yes, I have. Perhaps I should go to the gym, like that girl's boyfriend. I'm getting a bit plump myself. Perhaps I'll go with you. Both our countries are quite small. How would you describe the landscape in your country? My country is well known for being very flat. There are some hills in the southeast of the country. Is it really completely flat? Pretty much. The land rises and falls only a few meters. The southeast, the hills rise to a height of a few hundred meters. There are mountains over 1,000 meters high in your country. Yes, there are. They are not very big compared with the mountains in other countries. The coast of your country is very varied. The coast of my country is just made up of sandy beaches. That doesn't sound too bad. Great for sunbathing. The coast of my country changes even within a few kilometers. There are cliffs, then sandy beaches, then rocks. There are lots of caves in the cliffs. There are many lakes and rivers in your country too. We also have many rivers, but only a few lakes. We also have waterfalls in the mountains. They make the landscapes look very scenic. The landscape has been shaped by millions of years of erosion, especially by water. What's your working day like? I have a typical 9 to 5 job. Actually, I work a little longer than 9 to 5 most days. Do you get paid one time? No, I don't. I get a bonus each month, depending on the value of the contracts I sign with clients. Do you have any breaks? We have an hour-long lunch break from 12 to 1. We can take coffee breaks during the day. My boss doesn't mind, as long as we get out work done on time. My boss gets annoyed if we take coffee breaks. I suppose your job involves a lot paperwork, doesn't it? There's some paperwork, but most of the time we put any information onto computers. Then we can send information to each other by email or across the network. Do you work in a cubicle? Yes, I do. I don't like it very much. I work in a cubicle too, but I, I don't mind it. Miss Wong, would you mind my asking you a personal question? No, not at all. Go ahead. Are you married? Yes. Is that so important? Frankly, yes. We like to employ married people. By the way, do you have any children? Yes, I have a three-year-old son. I really enjoyed that film. What about you? So did I. At first, I thought it was going to be boring, but then it turned to be good. What part of the film do you like best? Well, 
The scene of the hero's struggle with enemies impressed me the most. I loved it, too. To tell you the truth, I even dropped tears. Actually, tears also came to my eyes. It has got this year's Oscar award. It deserves it. The film gave us a lot of inspiration. What are you using for bait today? We are fishing with worms. The fish seem to like them. Is that so? We're using lures, and the fish are biting those too. Looks like a lucky day for everyone. Hi, John. How was your vacation? Awesome. We went to Australia and New Zealand. That must have been wonderful. Do anything interesting? Well, we went bungee jumping when we were in Australia. Wow, isn't that dangerous? A little, but the rush was worth it. Tell me about it. We jumped off a bridge and fell 500 feet before the bungee cord caught us. 500 feet? I would never be able to do that. Yeah, it was scary, but exhilarating. You married Joe, didn't you? Joe? I don't know what you mean. I remember you were in love. Oh, I took a shine to him when we met for the first time. But it comes and goes. It's Greek to me. Did you have any hobbies? Yes, reading is my hobby. What kind of books do you like to read most? Many kinds of books. When I was a child in elementary school, I enjoyed reading fables and science fiction. When I became to a teenager at middle school, I was interested in detective mystery stories. Now I like reading romance stories. Are you in love? Why? People say only those that are in love like to read romance stories. Well, maybe. Hi Amanda. How are you? I've missed working with you and the whole gang since my transfer last week. We've missed you too. The office just isn't the same without you. How is your new job? It's great. I really get to focus on what I like to do and everyone has been very nice and welcoming. However, I'm having a small problem with my new colleagues. What happened? Well, three people are celebrating their birthdays this month and the policy here is for everyone to contribute $10 to a card and cake for each person. Wow. So you'll be out $30 on your first week at work. I know. It is a lot of money and I haven't gotten to know any of the people celebrating their birthdays well enough yet. At our old department, it was only $3 for each birthday and there were only 10 of us. Well, every department is different. You wouldn't want your new co-workers to think you're a Grinch, right? What is that? A Grinch is a person who spoils the mood at a happy occasion by being selfish or unenthusiastic. You know, a party proper. I definitely don't want to be that. But, I still think it's unreasonable for them to ask me for such a big sum of money when we don't know each other very well. What should I do? Do you like climbing? Yes, I like it very much. How about climbing up the fragrant mountain tomorrow? Where is it? It is located at the east foot of western mountain of Beijing, in a park with the same name. There are some huge stones within the mountain which look like the censer, so it is called, Fragrant Mountain. 
Have you visited it before? Many times. Except climbing. There are many attractions worth visiting. Like what? It is the best season to view red leaves from the mid-October to the first 10 days of November. During the period, thousands of hectares of maples on the sloping field are so red that you would recognize them as fallen petals by mistake if looking from a further area. The bright red, pink, scarlet, and peach puff leaves are distributed in different layout, with some green pines and cypresses dotted in between. Sounds marvelous. You can take a bird-eye view at the glorious picture when you arrive at the top of the mountain. Great. I will prepare some clothes and food for the climbing. Long time no see, George. Yes, a very long time. What brings you here? I'm here on vacation. Hi, Larry. How was your weekend? Not bad. We had a get-together with friends from college. I haven't seen many of them since graduation. How about you? Great. I hung out with Joe all day shopping, and they went out for dinner together. Sounds a good weekend. You know it always amazes me that two people as different as you and Joe can become such close friends. Yeah, I never thought we could be good friends either. We have our differences. She's more outgoing and active while I am more quiet and reversed, but we still get along extremely well. We can talk for hours about anything. That's great. I know people who can't stand each other for even five minutes. When Joe and I are together, we argue a lot, but that's also part of the fun. Besides, I know she will always be there for me when I need her, and she knows I'll be there for her. It seems you two bring out the best of one another. Exactly. Having Joe as my friend is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Yeah, you are so lucky to have found each other. Thanks, I think so too. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy-to-follow, free, educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.